The question is always the same. It's what do you want? What do you want? What do you want to do with your life? That's ultimately what all of our decision making boils down to. And we become extremely unconscious about how us getting what we want, how we have to do that, and how we justify ourselves and our decisions sometimes about what we want. It's always about what we want. And the reason why that is, is because we have this beautiful, beautiful gift. And this gift, this gift is called life. And the gift that we have in front of us gives us the ability to get most things that we want, assuming privilege, assuming hard work ethic, etc. So you ultimately, at least most of the time, if you're aligned with yourself, the way you treat others, how you go about life, you will get what you want. And most times even more, even more than you could ever anticipate. And the connection between that, you thinking, oh, this is what I want, and you getting that thing is a direct correlation to how conscious you are how conscious you are of what's going on around you, how conscious you are of how you behave, how you interpret things, how you analyze, what other people say, your direct experience, millions of things, millions of things. So the closer we're aligned to that within ourselves, the closer we're aligned to that truth within ourselves, or at least to the best of our abilities, no one's perfect, to do their best to to be conscious, to be more aware, to be more curious, to be more, be more loving and identify ego and then start to chip away at how your ego holds you back with awareness in certain situations, life's feedback, etc. The more you do that, the more you get what you want. And one thing I want you to notice, or one thing I notice, I should say, and I think it's beneficial for a lot of people to notice this, is on social media, not to demonize it, there's a lot of benefits and there's a lot of negatives, but on social media, things are wired in a way where a lot of the people you look up to with the lavish lifestyles or just content that's fed to you in general. A lot of the time, the things that we consume on a daily basis in accordance with our day-to-day lives and social media, etc., we get told that something is this. And we get told that over and over again. Like, this is how you get rich. This is how you become healthy. Great example. This is how to shred fat. And our minds, our reptilian minds are consuming that content in. And one thing we all need to realize is that things are not just one thing. It's not just a yes or no. Humans love to do that. We're like, oh, this is bad and bad, etc. Nothing in terms of any advice that you consume quickly and rapidly that makes you feel good or, or gets even a little bit curious. That has nothing to do with the direct experience of living through and trying that out for yourself. Then the reason being is because everyone reacts differently to thousands of things going on, right? Like run 20 kilometers a week to shred fat. Well, some people can't run. Some people, it's not good for them if they run. It's not good if they are unhealthy, for example, and they've never run before and just to throw some running shoes on them and run. It's not really good for somebody that has a race tomorrow, right? And I'm kind of taking this very far. I'm, I'm pulling the string as in, like, hey, this is like no duh, Eon, no duh. But one thing that I have learned recently really emphasizes on that the biggest one is in business when there's a problem at hand and it's really important to analyze what's going on from multiple ways from multiple lenses so for example my business partner can tell me oh this client just paid he's happy and then i need to use my intuition my expertise to yes take into account what he's saying that what he's bringing to my attention but also to make my own conclusions and to say, oh, actually, I think he's not happy because of this message that he sent in the, in the channel, for example, in a negative situation. I never used to do that. I'd always comply and I'd always say, oh, and that was the fear within me. I, I hadn't grown up with that healthy, like, hey, this is this, the verbalization or in a lot of cases like the masculinity to stand up and say, hey, actually, we need to take this into account as well. So just know that whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're building towards, whatever you're putting your efforts up to, realize that it doesn't just suck. It's not just hard. There's always more on the back end that's going on. And what I've noticed is at least as I've grown in the aspects of health, fitness, business, etc., one thing I noticed is that there's 
there's waves and sometimes these waves are three weeks four weeks five weeks six weeks etc but there's waves of oh things are awesome things are not going so good things are awesome things are not going so good so what i noticed that has really helped throughout those moments when things are really hard you're not seeing any progress you feel like nothing is working your way just not your day you don't feel like you're improving that's a big one that i underwent for two to three years without seeing any sort of return on investment from entrepreneurship that was really scary any of that i couldn't see what was happening i couldn't see the next feast but i knew that it was to some extent a wave. now how deep the waves are and how i reacted and how i felt i always always try to apply this concept that uh, that i was sharing with you today about the being conscious trying your best etc i still feel like shit in some aspects and some days are really hard and people that are successful don't not feel that they do feel it they just understand that there's more to it than just that so that's that's the that's the key my note here if you can be more loving if you can reduce your ego as much as possible if you can be aware of your ego your reactions your relapses your expressions the way you communicate and you realize that things are not just always going to go up and that the most successful people aren't just up at the top if you can realize those things and continue to apply them as best as you can in life and in, in absorbing more knowledge and more direct experience that's super important the more you can do that the quicker you will grow the quicker you will grow because most problems don't exist in the self they exist outside of that there's bigger decisions there's bigger shifts you could have amazing and deep resonating shifts within humanity within your life with people and with what you make if you can choose if you express that in the right way usually that's uh, seen in value right if something is valuable the way it's expressed has some sort of significance it's the same thing with us if if the can reduce the constraints on creativity and survival at the same time it kind of that's where the amazing life happens and the amazing life like i said isn't just down and up it's it's and like i was emphasizing the amazing life isn't just up but it's like slower spiral of those waves that we were seeing and that's the gift that's the beautiful thing about life is you just get a lot of what you put back in almost everything you get back is what you put back in to some extent more less etc but pays you back and this notion like journey people being aware of that is expressed with the divine consciousness god realization that's the pinnacle of like and people that are conscious and in general you realize there's levels to it and the levels are so big and they're so out there and we have to literally really reprogram our minds with how we make money how we work out how we eat we really have to reprogram our minds to realize that some of these crazy things happen and the reason why they happen is because of what's at stake beyond just us so the more we can step away from just us and looking at the bigger picture life also gets better that way now these notions are largely attributed to what I learned from actualize.org Leo Gura amazing work if you can not take that content personally in any way amazing work very smart very intuitive very clear a lot of great examples to that sort of work um he also he helped me out a lot respect to that guy but what actually showed me that those things were true was living it out in life with business with health with um improvement awareness working on my ego for the past 3 4 years and now things are going well with business um it takes time and it's going to be another 10 years or 20 years whatever time does not matter zero expectations on time but i'm always going to keep growing because of how embedded and how thankful i am in trusting those notions if i can just snap myself out of it and be like hey eon wake up it's just that if if that's my play here it's bigger than just you the the better i live so continue to dream continue to work on whatever you're working on you're doing great double down clear sights ahead things are going to be okay um and one last thing to note is that in accordance with time and like or wanting things faster or having something now in accordance with time anything to do with time the best thing to have is zero expectations everything is perfectly on time every single thing you realizing that lesson you going through that breakup you going through that struggle with training whatever it is everything is designed perfectly 
to help you get what you want. It's at, at your doorstep. And the more you work with those things I, I mentioned and talked about, the more you're, the more loving you are, the more you um, work on your ego, etc. The more you do that, the quicker you get things. But quicker isn't like number. Remember that quicker is just like things speed up, like happens faster. The more you do that exponentially faster. I don't know what percent it's different for everybody, but just, just know that just trust and hone in on that. Like, it's a hero's journey. Start the first step. I don't, oh, I love telling this story because it's so powerful, but I don't remember the first 100 rides on my new bicycle. Funny enough, I biked up that mountain and I'm not trying to brag or flex. I'm just trying to like show you what's possible is Every time that I biked, I probably biked up to Cyprus, I don't know, five to 10 times in total, maybe maybe more towards 10, eight, nine, 10, but like, like bike rides. Anyways, I don't remember that. I don't remember the pain of going through that every time. I don't remember how difficult that was. I don't remember when I biked the longest I ever did or when I did the Ironman, like the pain is part of it. It's not holding me back in any way. You forget about it. You forget about a lot of the pain, a lot of the hard work. You just forget about it because you're working towards that now. So your now sometimes feels like this. Not your now sometimes feels really good. And if your now feels really good and if you're really happy with life and where you're at, you're doing that pretty well. So I just wanted to leave you off on that note. This has been mainly a ramble, but it's the things that I think about and how I can continue to evolve and to create something that aligns with that more. The way I carry myself, the way I grow, the more I can do those things and the more I can be aware and, and consume more knowledge and apply more and fail more, the more I do that, the more I will grow. So hopefully that advice helped you. Hopefully it resonated with you. Hopefully some of the things stuck because ultimately my mission here and my, my goals, and I, I like stating out my goals vocally. Um, don't know why I've always done it with like races or bodybuilding show, whatever. One of my goals is to open an orphanage before I'm 25, or at least work towards getting something open and running before 25. And that's been my goal probably for since I was 17, 18, around that time, 16, I'm not sure, somewhere around that range. And the reason why I, I stress and I say that is because I know, I knew back then that those things would give me a meaningful life. Those values of mine that I align myself with, everyone is good, there are no evil people. We're just conflicted sometimes, but the more you align with your values, the more your goals and dreams come true. The reason why I want to open that orphanage and the reason why I'm making content and the reason why I'm closed down a content agency and my old business for my new business and why that's aligned with why I'm doing my business full time now is because that's alignment for me. That's fulfillment. I love helping and creating, creating meaningful impact and living within that ethos as best as I can with work, with training, with relationships, with growth, etc. The more I do that, the more fulfillment I get. There's nothing like helping somebody. That's one of the best feelings in the world for me and my specific set of values. That's why I'm on here because I, I genuinely think that this is a very powerful tool that can be used in a beautiful way and that can be wired in a way that gets through to people that helps them unlock and to help them to continuously grow and achieve their dreams and live a life full of love. So that's what I'm working towards. Um, I'm very excited to watch this video in five years. I think it's gonna be a cool video. So tag along for the ride. Hopefully it aids you in whatever way. And that's it for tonight. Have an amazing night. I hope you enjoyed the night walk with our little friend. Cheers.